I've heard rumors, anyway, or, or that it's been said that, you know, quote unquote, new music um, is becoming more accepted in, in Canada in, in particular. Um, would you agree with that? I, I think if that's a, a rumor, it's just because there, there really isn't a, there really isn't a style I anymore that, that really goes under the moniker of, of new music per se. Like I think the, the biggest break is that people with, um, you know, strong academic backgrounds in composition who, you know, dealt with the kind of European canon in terms of standard repertoire are nonetheless, you know, getting further and further away from that. So you have you have music again. You know, it's w w choose the name speculative, innovative, avant-garde. That's being done within milieus that don't have anything to do with classical music per se anymore. So I think the acceptance is that you can you can hear stuff that's you know involved in all kinds of sonic innovations. At a at a at a booze can in Toronto now, or you know any any kind of a club or in a, a house concert. So in that respect, it reaches into to milieus that it didn't when it was it was kind of more firmly entrenched in in the classical world. Mm -hmm. I, I think with the Ray though, I mean it, I think this is something. Well, definitely it's an interest in, in mine. Um, I don't know if I'm bringing it to it, but. Uh, uh, it's almost gotten to the point, though, that where people are forgetting, though, that there is there's a powerful resource of of classically trained musicians, people who can play anything, mm -hmm. um, who are virtuosos, but not, not to, meaning that just that they can you know wiggle their fingers quickly. But I mean, you know, to play something unbelievably softly for a really long time mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. about as hard as things get. That's and I mean, right. mm -hmm. for for me, it, the beautiful thing about getting more involved with Array is that. I have, you know, these virtuoso musicians who I count as my friends too, who are willing to try music coming from d these different uh, musical spaces and still bring all mm -hmm. of their all of their abilities, mm -hmm. like their, their astounding abilities to it. So, I I, I think maybe Array does uh, is is particularly strong in in kind of bridging the the kind of the the DIY kind of uh, noise improv scenes with with the classical music scenes, where but where those aesthetic milieus aren't aren't so divided. Yeah.